Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, checking in, and you're watching Fitted Fiend. Cause my sweat turned off right now. Get friend looks going to turn off. Talk that talk, but it ain't about much. Hey, no nuts, cause the sweat turned off. This week on Fitted Fiend, we have another hat sale video. But before we get into this, I'd like to dedicate this video to one of my close friends, Sean Lewis, a.k.a. Sean Stay Fitted. Well, we both started our YouTube channels about four plus years ago, um, getting into the, the fitted game on YouTube. Uh, back then, there was really no one really doing it. It's not how it is now where there's a lot of hype behind fit is and they sell out how, how the sneaker game does. Mine and his goal both were to make fitteds the new sneaker game, especially on YouTube. That was both of our goals, and I feel we both came very far. We used to plug each other's channel a lot in the very beginning, you know, before we hit the thousand sub mark and everything. But uh, very sorry to hear that he passed away. I noticed on his last couple of videos he'd been under the weather. I just recently got over something that I mentioned in my last minor league Monday video. I can't say the word because they, they flagged me for it. So I wonder if maybe he was suffering that too. I don't know. I haven't heard the details, but uh, he had mentioned he'd been, on, uh, been under the weather for the last couple of weeks. So I'd like to dedicate this video to Sean Stay Fitted. We'll miss you, bro. All right. So about every six months or so, I'll do a, uh, a fitted sale. These are for my personal collection. I am not a retailer or anything. So these are all dead stock, never worn. I used to wear 7 and 5 eighths, so a lot of these will be 7 and 5 eighths. Uh, I think there's one 7 and 7 eighths, a couple 7 3 fourths, and a couple smaller sizes that I have, and maybe one 950 um, that I decided I, I didn't want that I want to have through in here. The prices will range from $20 to $50 per hat. $6 flat rate shipping, U.S. residents only, please, because it's a pain to fill out customs forms and everything to send the stuff overseas. If you see something that doesn't sell and you do live outside the country, I can post it on eBay and list it um, under their, their global program, and you can buy it that way. Then you'll have to you know pay whatever fees to eBay for, them to, um, um, to, for the um, import fees and whatnot. So... Uh, these are going to be in, 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 in no particular order. I do have duplicates of a couple, but uh, I think I have most of the duplicates all um, um, laid out together. There might be one that might be mixed up. So, no further ado, let's get into this. And payments will be done through PayPal, friends and family, or Cash App. Uh, DM me on my Instagram at Infamous Music. The, um, link for my IG will be down in the description um, to, to set up payment. Uh, also, over in the live chat, you, you can put that you know, what hats you want to, to claim it or put down in the comments. Also, you can DM me to claim whatever hats you want. Uh, if you're unsure how to describe the hat, try to screenshot it and send me the picture so I make sure I get, get the right hat to you. All right, so first off, we got a Hat Club exclusive, Chicago White Sox done in the current day colorway with, I think this is like the 87 logo C. Always been a huge fan of this. Done a white outline in uh, gray color. It's got the New Era flag blacked out. No MLB logo on the back, nothing on the other side. Gray underbill. Got a black sweatband, 758's New Era Cooper's Town tagging. We'll do this for 30. Once again, this is a Hat Club exclusive. All right, we got a Danville Braves who no longer exist. They used to be the rookie affiliate of the Atlanta Braves. They did away with 40 minor league teams after the 2020 season, and unfortunately they were one of them. So this is their on-field, done in the tr traditional Atlanta Braves colorway. It has the D with the tomahawk. This one is size 7. It has the white New Era flag. MIOB logo done in the red, white, and navy. Nothing on the other side. Black underbill. Once again, size 7, New Era, minor league tagging. $20. All right, this is the only non-fitted in the sale. This is a Team USA retro from the 1984 team that had uh, the most known name was Mark McGuire, and they also had Will Clark was on the team, but uh, they actually wore snapbacks in the 84 Olympics. I had a jersey I got from 503 Sports that I wanted this for, but uh, I, I decided I was going to hold off because they told me that they were 
going to custom make a fitted to look like this. So I decided not to hold on to this. So once again, this is a 950, done red, white, and blue, USA on the front, red new era flag, has the American flag on the back, blue snapback. It's got USA baseball. This is um, one of the patches that would have been on the sleeves of the jersey. Uh, we'll do this for 20. All right, this is another hat club exclusive. This is from the retro collection. Uh, it's the current White Sox logo, but this is done with no new era logo. It's got the MLB Batterman logo done flush, nothing on the other side. Gray underbill, white sweatband, 73 force, new era. Authentic on field tagging. We'll do this for 30. All right, this is from Mickey's Place. For those not familiar with them, they had the largest selection of Cooperstown fitteds that are made to look like how they were back then. So this is the New York Mets. The New York logo is flush. Uh, looks just like traditional New York Mets hat. No New Era logo. No MLB logo. Nothing on the other side. Does have a green underbill. We are filming in front of a green screen, so we'll not show you that due to the green screen. White sweatband, 758. New Era Cooperstown tagging. We'll do 30 for that. All right, this is also from Mickey's Place. This is the 1969 Atlanta Braves All Navy. The A's flush. Once again, no New Era logo, no MLB logo, nothing on the other side. Once again, green underbill. 758 New Era Cooperstown tagging. We'll do this for 30. Once again, all these hats are dead stock. And we got the. 1974 style Atlanta Braves hat. I don't remember where I got this one from. It might have been Braves Clubhouse store. Mm, I think that's where it came from. So uh, you've seen Hank Aaron wore this style when he broke Babe Ruth's home run record. Red, white, and blue. Once again, no New Era logo. No MLB logo. Nothing on the other side. Once again, green underbill. 758's New Era Cooper's Town tagging. Where they go for 30. All right, this is another Hat Club retro exclusive Oakland A's, like traditional Oakland A's hat, but no New Era logo. The MOB logo is flush on the back, nothing on the other side. Gray underbill, white sweatband, 758 New Era, authentic on field tagging, $30 on that one. See, this one will be another Mickey's Place, Baltimore Orioles, looks like traditional Orioles. Flush logo, no New Era logo, no MLB logo, nothing on the other side. Once again, green underbill, 758 New Era, Cooperstown tagging, all done in white, $30. We got the uh, Chief Wahoo style um, Cleveland Indians. It's a shame that they banned it and they're changing their name, but that's what the world uh, seems to be turning to. So, uh, traditional. On field fitted with the Chief Wahoo logo, New Era logo on the left, done a white MLB logo, red, white, navy, nothing on the other side, black underbill, 758 New Era authentic on field tagging. We'll do that for 30. All right, this was a lids pickup from a couple years ago. I never wore it. All black has Atlanta Braves A done a white outlined in red, New Era flag done a white. MLB Batterman done in red, white, and black. Nothing on the other side. Black underbill. 758's New Era genuine merchandise tagging. Do it for 30. Alright, got a St. Louis Cardinals on field. This is 2016 and newer. I'm sorry, 2016 and older, I mean. So it's got the old style cool base sticker, as you can see. No New Era logo. MLB logo. Um, done in the navy, wh white and red. Nothing on the other side. Black sweatband. 758's New Era off authentic um, on field collection. So do that for 30. All right, this was just a random lids pickup. All white on white Atlanta Braves. I don't know if, you can, if the A's picking up on the camera or not from the studio lighting. So everything's all done in white. White underbill, white sweatband. I don't understand why they did the uh, 758s in black and the rest in white, but it is what it is. So we'll do that one for 30. All right, this one we have three of them. 
So this, the Danville Braves alternate hat. It's kind of like an off-white cream color. kind of reminds you of the Braves uh, jerseys they wear on Sundays when they play at home. It's kind of like that cream color with the Danville um, D with a tomahawk, Navy New Era flag, MILB logo done in navy white and red. Nothing on the other side. Black underbill, black sweatband. This one is a 718 New Era. You know, my only tagging. I actually have two and seven and one eighths and one in size seven. We'll do these for 20 each. All right, this was amongst the first batch of when lids jumped into the um, the color UV um, and side patch, um, um, I guess you say craze or hype or whatever that's going on now. I bought this prematurely hoping the underbill was more of a teal to match my Jordan 5 grapes, but it was actually a, well, like a sky blue instead. So all purple. This is like the mid-80s sock style logo. Has the, the New Era flag done in the sky blue color. It's got the MLB Batterman logo done in the purple, white, and sky blue color. It's got their, let's see, all-star game. 50th anniversary Chicago side patch. Very nice. Uh, hopefully this cooperates with the green screen. This is sky blue. Sometimes this color doesn't work well in front of the green screen. It's a white sweatband, 734's new Eric Rippers Town tagging. We'll do this one for 30. All right, this one is more rare. This is a Sports World 165 exclusive. Uh, they restocked this twice, sold out both times. So all red Atlanta Braves, black button, A done in white, black bill, New Era flags done in white and black. Got a red, white, and black Batterman logo on the back. Has the 95 World Series patch on the right side, done in red, black, and white accents. Gray underbill, black sweatband, 7 to 7 eighths, New Era, Cooperstown tagging. Due to the hype and the rarity of this one, this will be one of the three highest priced um, hats um, in, on this video. So we're going to do this at 50. All right, another Danville hat. I think I already showed one of these earlier. Uh, this is this one's done a size seven though. All right, so I actually have two size sevens of these. So these are um, 20 each. All right, this is one of the higher price hats. This is Paper Planes, all black, with the black and white Paper Plane logo. Got the little Paper Planes pin, white New Era flag, nothing on the back, nothing on the side. This one's got the black underbill. This one's seven and five eighths, New Era tagging with the Paper Planes logo tagging. We'll do this for 50. I think this retailed for 60 or 65 whenever I got it. I can't remember. It still has the Paper planes tag on it. All right, this is a Mickey's uh, Cooperstown collection. Cincinnati Reds, flush um, C, no new era flag, no MLB logo, nothing on the other side. Once again, green underbill, 758s, new era, Cooperstown tagging, all white tags and sweatband. I'll do that for 30. All right, this is a Boston Red Sox. This is the Hex Tex, uh, AKA Diamond Era, like the batter, um, batting practice style um, fitted. They also would wear this style like in the spring training. So red dome, navy button, the B's done in navy outline of white, navy bill, no new era flags. So this has been 2016 or older. Red, white, and blue batter man logo on the back. It does have the American League logo done real faintly, kind of like a ghost image. I don't know if the camera can pick it up from here. It's got a black underbill, gray sweatband, 758's New Era, authentic on-field tagging. We'll do this one for 20 This is a 2016 and older uh, Boston Red Sox on-field. Traditional Red Sox hat, just without the New Era logo. Everything else is the same as the regular on field. This is 758's New Era Authentic On Field Tagging. Do that for 30. 
all right, this is a Hat Club exclusive. The ones that are Hat Club exclusives, I'll, I'll add the Hat Club exclusive pins to them. I, I just I never rock the pins on the hats personally, but I do have the pins. I will, I will include the ones that come from Hat Club with pins. So this is a minor league team um, called Spirit that Ken Griffey Jr. played for. So this hat's been restocked a couple times, but of course it's sold out on Hat Club. So all navy, got the S done in white, outline in red. Some people don't know the 89 Upper Deck um, rookie card of Ken Griffey Jr. He's actually wearing this hat, and they photoshopped the um, Mariners hat on him, but he, the original picture, he was wearing this hat. Has the New Era logo done in navy to blend in. Nothing on the back, nothing on the side. Does have a green underbill. Black sweatband, 758's New Era. Minor league tagging. We'll do that one for 30. This one... I believe I got in a mystery box from Hat Club. And so it's the uh, New York Red Bulls soccer team, all Navy. Got the Red Bulls logo on the front. New era flag done in Navy. Has New York Red Bulls done across the back. Nothing on the other side. Gray underbill. Black sweatband, 758 New Era tagging. We'll let that one go for 20 All right, this is a Cooperstown collection that Lids released a few years back. Colorado Rockies look just like the traditional on-field fitted. It's got a logo done in purple, outlined like metallic silver, all black dome and bill, purple button on top, no new era logo. MLB logo is done the purple, white, and black flush in the back, so it has the retro classic tag on it. Nothing on the other side. Gray underbill, white sweatband, 758s. Got the old school 5950 sticker. I meant, um, Tag, I mean, Retro Classic, and then Cooperstown Tagging so has four tags on it. So we'll do that for 30. This is a Mickey's Place exclusive once again. Pittsburgh Pirates looks like a traditional Pirates hat, but the P is on flush. Once again, no New Era logo, no MLB logo, nothing on the other side. Once again, green underbill. White sweatband, 758 New Era Cooperstown Tagging. We'll do that one for 30. I have another Paper Plains hat. Once again, this one is black. Uh, two differences. This one is 734, so the other one is 758. So if you're interested, make sure you specify which size. And this one has a green underbill, the other one has a black. So I can't show you the underbill due to the green screen, but everything else is identical to the 758 version you just saw. Once again, $50 for that one. All right, we got Atlanta Hawks. It's got the updated version of the Pac Man logo that, that they currently use, all red, dome, and bill. Logo done in red and white. Red new um, got the new era flag done in white. Red and white NBA logo in the back. Nothing on the other side. Gray underbill. Black sweatband. Seven five eight. New era NBA tagging. We did that one for thirty. All right, this one we have two of. This is the team that no longer exists. It was the rookie affiliate of the Cincinnati Reds. This is the Greenville Reds. They were one of the 40 teams that were done away with. This is their alternate hat. As you see, the G looks just like the Cincinnati Red C. Um, so red dome, black bill, the button on top's red. I think it would look better if the button was black. Uh, new era logo on the, on the sides, white. MLB, um, the MILB logo done in uh, the navy, white and red on the back. Nothing on the other side, black under bill. Both of these are seven and three-fourths. Uh, so three-fourths, new era, Miley tagging. We'll do these for 20 each. All right, this is another Mickey's Place. This is uh, another retro New York Yankees. Looks like the traditional Yankees hat. This one, the logo is raised like the current one, but I think this was like a mid-2000 version. No New Era flag. It's got the MLB Batterman logo done in navy, white, and red. Nothing on the other side. This one has a grander bill. White sweatband, 758s. New Era, Cooperstown tagging. We did that with 30. All right, this was a Hat Club exclusive. It's the Durham Bulls. Used to be a affiliate of the Atlanta Braves. are now currently an affiliate of the Tampa Bay Rays. So done a royal blue logo done in orange, black, and white. Uh, also, this is made famous from the movie Bull Durham. that had Kevin Costner in it. They got the New Era logo done blue to black. <laughs> Sorry about that. The camera cut off on me. So uh, no New Era logo on the side. I don't know if I said that before it shut off. 
Uh, no MILB logo on the back, nothing on the other side. Once again, green underbill, black sweatband, 758 New Era, minor league tagging. We'll do that one for 30. All right, we got this 1922, I believe it is, version of the New York Yankees hat. Once again, from Mickey's Place, as you see, the New York logo looks a little bit different because they modified it over the years. So you see how um, it's shaped just a, just a little bit different from how it is currently. This would have been back from the Babe Ruth era. So besides that, it looks like a regular Yankees hat. It's flush, no New Era logo, no MLB logo. Once again, green underbill, white sweatband, 758, New Era, Cooper's Town tagging. We'll do that one for 30. Last but not least, I think this might have came from Lids back in the day. I can't remember. All camo, Chicago Bulls. The logo's done like a gold medal, like badge on the front. So it's got the New Era flag done in black. It's got Bulls done in metallic gold on the back. Nothing on the other side. Gray underbill, black sweatband, 758 New Era. NBA tagging. We'll do that one for 30 all right, that wraps it up. Um, after this video is over, the live chat will stop. So go over to my Instagram to DM me. You also can DM me on my Facebook if you need to. All the links will be down in the, in, in the description. Once again, $6 shipping. If you get multiple hats, the shipping stays at 6 So you can buy, say, for example, three hats and still only pay $6 for the shipping. So it's a flat $6 fee um, per, uh, per um, each order. And once again, U.S. residents only, please. PayPal, friends and family, or Cash App. Once again, contact me in the DMs to arrange payment. Give me 48 to 72 hours to get them shipped out. I'll send tracking and everything. Uh, hope everybody enjoyed today's video. Please give a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Trends Limited merch in the description. And we're going to end this video a little bit different with a moment of silence for the homie Sean Stay Fitted. Rest in peace, bro.